Hey guys, how's it going? It has been a minute since I have done a cooking show on this channel. It has been, I don't know, like two to three months. Um, so today I thought I would film myself uh, cooking chili. I'm really excited. Um, it's really cold outside right now um, in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It is freezing, fall is in the air, it will be winter soon. It has been snowing in parts of Canada where it usually doesn't start snowing till like late October, early November to mid-November and it's only September. I'm not excited for this winter. Anyway, to keep warm, what I like to do during the fall and winter months is create and make some chili. Um, there really isn't any rhyme or reason to my chili. I just kind of like throw a plethora of ingredients together and just kind of form a concoction of sorts. So I kind of just do it random. Um, I do go on, uh, what's the website called? Pinterest. Um, I love Pinterest. I go on there all the time. Um, sometimes I kind of gather ingredients ideas when it comes to my chili. Um, but the ingredients I do have right now, um, I will show you first. Um, I have some uh, diced tomatoes. Um, I also have some tomato sauce. Uh, two cans of beans with pork and tomato sauce. Um, I've never actually made a beef chili before. Uh, the chilies I made previous uh, prior to this were always chicken. Um, so this is the first time I am making a traditional uh, beef uh, chili. Really exciting. Um, some recipes call for two pounds, others call for one. I'm the only one who's going to be consuming this all next week. But I don't like the idea of consuming two pounds of beef in a week. This is one pound right here, and the idea of consuming two pounds of this, two packages, um, in one week doesn't really uh, set well with me. And some other ingredients I will be using is uh, broccoli, which I've never put broccoli in a chili before. I'm sure it tastes fine. Um, I will also be putting carrots in and some red pepper, some leftover vegetables from a previous a dinner I made last week. I might as well use them up instead of throwing them out. Um, I will be also using a large onion, uh, garlic. I love garlic so much, you have no idea. If there was a garlic ice cream, I'm sure there is somewhere in the world, I would totally eat it. I kid you not. Anything garlic, I will consume. Um, a garlic bubble bath, I kid you not. If there was garlic bubble bath, obviously I wouldn't actually use it. I would just sniff it. Honestly, I would just sniff the garlic bubble bath. I would just pop the lid off, pop the top off, and just sniff it. I love the smell of garlic so much. Oh my god. Garlic fetish. This video got real weird real fast. Hopefully I didn't scare you away. Anyway, um, I will also be getting into the spices. I'm literally using like eight different spices. Um, I'm using, of course, chili powder. Um, some paprika. Uh, cayenne pepper. Now this is gonna be a very spicy chili. I love anything that's spicy, especially my chilies. Uh, chili peppers. Um, some basil and some Cajun and some whole bay leaves. Um, and then to top it off once it's done, um, I will be uh, shredding some old cheddar cheese on top with some sour cream. I don't have the sour cream yet. I have to run to the grocery store. Um, and I will be making my chili in a crock pot. Um, I find the best way in making chili is through a cro uh, crock pot. Um, it does take a bit longer. It takes like eight hours. Um, but it's totally worth it. Your house will fill up with the aroma of chili in the crock pot. Um, it's about 1.30 right now, so it should be ready by about 8 o'clock, which is perfect for supper. So let's get into it. So obviously what I'm going to do first is start browning my one pound of ground beef. I will also be sautéing uh, some of my onion as well. Um, I don't know how much of the onion I'll use. I'll probably only use half of it. And if you guys have any suggestions as to what I should put in my uh, chili next time, definitely leave a comment. Throw in some ideas. Honestly, I feel like you could put almost anything into a chili. Um, I'm sure there's so many different variations. Um, from, you know, your ancestors, your grandparents. I'm sure there are family traditions, secret recipes, uh, but they're secret for a reason, so you probably won't tell me. But just give me suggestions. What else should I throw into my chili that would make it oh so delicious? Even more delicious than what I'm making right now. So I just popped the ground beef onto the frying pan, all that bloody, disgusting Halloween goodness. Ugh. And this guy right here, my little pumpkin, well, I guess he's not so little. I will be carving him down the line. I will be doing a separate video on that, probably towards the end of October. 
Um, I didn't realize that at the time, but I read that when you carve a pumpkin, it only lasts for about five to seven days. So I was actually going to carve it like mid to the beginning of October, but it won't last until Halloween. So I'm going to have to wait. But for now, it's just going to sit on my counter as a decoration. So as my beef is browning in the frying pan, I'm going to work on my onion. I know I said I was going to saute the onion, um, but I, I honestly don't want to do that. Um, I'm actually just going to throw the onion in raw into the crock pot and hope for the best. I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't play with knives, kids. Oh. So is there a trick to not cry when cutting onions? Let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so I finished cutting my onions. Uh, not tear-free, honestly. Some of my tears are probably in these onions right now. And sorry for the glare. If I ever hold up anything, like a can or like food, whatever, um, I have my little nightlight shiny light onto my face. If I didn't have this light, I would literally be bathed in darkness right now. So please don't mind that. Don't mind the glare. But anyway, this is my onion right here. Uh, now I'm gonna throw it into the crock pot raw. Again, I'm not gonna saute them. I probably should, but... I don't want to do that. I personally feel like a whole onion would be too much onion in a chili. Um, so I only used half. So the beef is almost done. There's still a little bit more left to brown. So I'm going to focus on cutting out my vegetables now. My broccoli, my red pepper, and my carrots. And I'm not crazy for putting broccoli in my chili, right? I mean, I've never done it before. I mean, there's honestly nothing wrong. I mean, you could honestly put any kind of vegetable in your chili. Um, but am I crazy for doing this? I don't know. So guys, let me know in the comments, what is your least favorite vegetable of all time? I can understand why people wouldn't like tomatoes. I didn't like tomatoes when I was growing up. I actually love tomatoes now. I don't like them whole or like on their own. I will only eat them if they're like in a sandwich or like mixed with other ingredients. If I had to pick my least favorite vegetable, it would probably be, um, probably olives. Are olives a vegetable? Whenever I ask a stupid question or I ask something that I should already know, I just blame it on the blonde hair. It's easy cop out. But technically, a tomato is not a vegetable, it's a fruit. Did you know that? Because it has seeds. Yes, a tomato has seeds, so hence it is a fruit. I wonder if potatoes would taste good in a chili. If you ever used potatoes in a chili before, let me know. I'm very curious to know how it turned out. Okay, so I have finished cutting up my broccoli, my red pepper, and my carrots. Here they are right here. So beautiful, so healthy, so delicious. Now I'm gonna pop them into my crock pot. Okay, so my ground beef is done. It's still sizzling hot. And now I'm going to pour it into my crock pot with my veggies, like so. So, so there actually is a fair amount of ground beef. I'm happy I used only the one pound instead of two pounds. Again, the idea of consuming two pounds of ground beef in one week doesn't sit well with me. It's not the most healthy, so I'm glad I only used the one pound. Okay, so now I will be throwing in my tomatoes, the diced tomatoes and the tomato sauce. <laughs> I guess one of the disadvantages for using so many canned products for my chili is the amount of sodium. Um, there's quite a bit of sodium. Obviously, these are canned products. For example, my kidney beans have a 48% sodium in only one cup. Um, but honestly, it's worth it. Now, here are my diced tomatoes right here. I'm going to kind of eyeball it. Um, the recipes I was looking at previously before I started cooking this called for about one can of uh, diced tomatoes. Um, about 796 milliliters. Um, I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. I don't know if I'm gonna put this whole thing in. So I actually didn't use the whole can just yet. There's just a wee bit left. I'm actually gonna put in the tomato paste first and see how much I need to put of this in before I put the rest of the diced tomatoes in. And here is my tomato sauce. So delicious. Now I'm just gonna pour... Again, I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. So how much I feel like I need in here. So I think I'm only gonna use half a can of the tomato sauce, which translates to about, um, about 350 milliliters of tomato sauce. And I didn't use the whole can of diced tomatoes either. There's about one sixth left in here. So I did buy two cans of beans. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use both of them. Um, I might just end up using one. Um, again, I'm gonna eyeball it and see how much I actually need. Ah! What the f- why you no open? Why you no open? So here is can number one of beans, and let's throw it into the crock pot. Mm. 
Okay. So one can of beans is more than enough for me. Um, I will not be using the second can, but it's good because I will just save this for next time I make chili, which will probably be next month. And I almost forgot about the garlic, which I have to start cutting up right now. My fetish for garlic. Um, I think the reason I have such a strong connection to garlic is because my grandfather was a farmer. Um, he owned acres of land in his backyard and he would grow carrots and dill and garlic. And I remember him loving garlic so much. So I think, you know, that just kind of rubbed off on me because I grew up with it. Um, so my love for garlic remains. Love you, Jaju. Now I have all these memories flooding back from my childhood. Focus! Focus, this is about chili. Okay. Guys, if you could see the mess in my kitchen right now, I mean, you'd cry. I want to cry right now. Thank God for dishwashers, honestly. Hashtag, thank God for dishwashers. Mmm. -hmm. And honestly, since it's close to Halloween, why not? If vampires were real, and there were like good vampires and bad vampires, I could never be friends with the good vampires because they hate garlic. And that's just a no-no. And it's not even fun. Like, I enjoy chopping up red peppers, even carrots. But when it comes to garlic, I just despise it so much. I think it's because the uh, cloves are so small. Um, that's just so like tedious. Okay, anyway, here's my garlic. There isn't a whole lot. Again, I don't like chopping up garlic, so... I just put a little bit in. I think I'll top it off with some garlic powder, which I will do right now. Which kind of defeats the purpose of using real garlic. It's like, I'm using real garlic, yeah, I'm topping off with garlic powder. Well, there you go, welcome to my channel, where my logic rarely makes sense. So now all my main ingredients are in my crock pot. This is kind of what it looks like. So yummy, it already smells so good. Okay. So now I will be adding in the spices. I'm not gonna measure the spices or anything. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and just kind of shake the spices in like so. So that was the chili powder and now I'm moving on to paprika. And it's really funny, every time I use paprika or I hear the name paprika, I think of Blue's Clues because there was that talking of paprika shaker and I always think of paprika. Every time I hear the word or I use it, I think of Blue's Clues. And next, the cayenne pepper. And honestly, what makes a chili? are the spices. The spices is what makes up the chili. Um, so you have to be very um, adventurous when it comes to selecting your uh, spices. And now moving on to Cajon. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah? And please leave a comment as to what other spices I can use. Um, maybe, obviously, down the line, uh, family recipes, what have you, uh, in your family, or, you know, things you discovered on your own. Uh, let me know what spices you've used in the past for your chili. And finally, I topped it off with some um, chili pepper flakes. Oh my god, guys, it smells so good! I can only imagine what it's gonna smell like as it's cooking during the next seven hours or so. The aroma's just gonna fill my apartment. It's gonna smell so good. The aroma's gonna like slip under my front door. It's gonna like consume the rest of the apartment. Everyone's gonna be so jealous and I will be the envy of everyone. Mm. Perfect. And just the right amount of uh, spice as well. You can feel that hotness, or at least I can in the back of my throat. Oh, so good. And then finally, what I like to do at the very end is I like to top it off with a whole bay leaf. Mm -hmm. So they're all kind of like scrunched up and like broken, so I can't like use one whole one. So I'm gonna have to just like use like various little small pieces of one, like so. Just a few little guys and just uh, put them on top. And we are done. This is what it looks like. So delicious, so good. Oh, I'm so excited. And then at the end when it's done, I'm going to shred some cheddar cheese and I have to go and grab some sour cream from the um, grocery store and then I will be set. And this is a very hearty meal. Um, this actually made quite a bit, which I'm very excited about. This will last me all week. Um, and it was fairly inexpensive to make, so if you're on a budget, it's fairly simple, it's fairly easy, and it's cheap to make, and it's delicious. Um, again, I'm the only one who will be eating this, so it will last me probably the whole week, seven suppers, which I don't mind eating this every day for a week, it's so good. Um, especially with some toast, um, butter some toast, and dip it in your chili, um, 
and you're golden. Even some garlic bread, maybe. Oh my god, yes. Ideas. So thank you for watching, guys. This was really exciting for me. I love doing these cooking shows. I love food. I love cooking. Um, and I will definitely do more down the line. Um, so thank you for watching. Hopefully I gave you some ideas um, as to how to make your chili. Maybe give me ideas because I'm such a novice when it comes to cooking and chili in particular. Give me your ideas. Share your ideas with me. What should I put in? Um, some extra spices, vegetables, techniques. Um, give me some ideas. I've made chicken uh, chili in the past, but maybe there's other meats I can use. Um, who knows? I mean, I imagine there's so many different variations of chili. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, before you leave, I thought I would give you a little bit of an update on my chili so it is ready to eat. It is supper time and I am hungry. So I'm gonna dig into it and give you my impression of it, which I no doubt will be spectacular. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. So beautiful. So comforting, especially on a cold day like this one. A cold, rainy day. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> Look at that. So good. Now I'm gonna drizzle some cheddar cheese on top like I said I would. Like so. And I also typically eat my chili with toast, but I didn't make any right now because I'm just so hungry. I want to get into this as soon as possible. And I also ran to the grocery store and got some sour cream, so I'll drizzle some of that on top. Like so, it's kind of messy, but who cares, it's chili. And here it is, so good, I hope. Mm -mm -mm. Mmm, hot. Mmm. Hot. Ah. Oh. Definitely spicy, which is what I wanted. Um, so good, actually. Mmm. Okay. Really good. Um, I had a couple um, mouthfuls of um, the chili with some carrot um, in it, and um, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, carrot and chili, I just realized. Um, I do like carrot, I just don't like it in my chili, so I think next time I'll forgo the carrot. Um, I haven't tasted any yet with the broccoli, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Carrot is a no. I'm not the biggest fan of carrot and chili. I just figured out. Um, but other than that, it's really good. Really spicy, really meaty, very hearty. Um, the cheese and sour cream just make it up. It's so amazing. Um, like I said, perfect for a cold fall rainy day. Um, so thank you for watching. I thought I would give you a quick update on that. Um, and I hope you have an awesome day, guys. Bye.